Okay, we're in. And today is a very special day, since actually it was yesterday when Titanfall 2, out of nowhere, uh, recently, just just uh, came to Steam as a part of uh, EA uh, returning to Steam program, they decided to move Titanfall 2 to the game. And this is a great celebration. It is a great celebration for many reasons. Some of these reasons are minor, and some of them are very major. Un unfortunately, some of these um, expectations were uh, not uh, met, but at, ye at least, at the very least, we are very glad to see a lot of new Titanfall 2 players in this game. You see, uh, there were some players, uh, some of my friends, who refused to buy Titanfall 2, specifically because it was on Origin. Maybe they disliked Origin, and I mean, uh, it's not like you can uh, get away from Origin when you install Titanfall 2 on Steam. But yet, um, you have this uh, achievement tracker, all this game progress, all your badges, all your cards, all your probably smiles and uh, Steam backgrounds for profile, everything is going to be included. Also, a huge list of features that include a Steam community with uh, um, its, uh, well, first thing first, forums, second thing. Uh, you have screenshots, third, you've got uh, honest uh, user reviews, then you have refund policy from Steam, which is really reliable, and uh, it is tested with time. And, uh, of course, this game brings new blood. When it released on Steam, it practically was released again. The same picture that we got uh, when this game was released on um, PlayStation 4 for free as part of uh, PlayStation Network Plus program. So yeah, Titanfall 2. It was presumably dead after the last uh, multiplayer update was uh, deplete. Uh, uh, it was deployed, and um, it was merely one year after the game released. And you see, Titanfall 2 is a very unique experience. This game, not only it delivers on expectations, but it uh, actually subverts them. You see, Titanfall 2 uh, was uh, not um, met very warm, because uh, it was um, expected to be uh, just a reskin of Titanfall 1. And Titanfall 1 was uh, not very popular. It is a good game, but... Uh, it has a fair amount of criticism, considering some uh, concerns about uh, its game, this game's matchmaking system, and uh, its uh, well, uh, less than ideal uh, content share model, like premium passes, etc. So uh, they fixed everything. They deployed an open beta and nobody took it seriously, so people just call it uh, uh, Titanfall 1 with worse maps. But in two week feedback, they changed everything and made this game which, uh, what it is today. And let us play a little and discuss about it. So I'm playing Titan Brawl, it's uh, basically a Titan deathmatch with thick machines. I'm using North Star, which is a... Um, Sniper Titan with a projectile based uh, heavy damage gun with really huge recoil and you need to lead uh, on your enemies to hit them if they're moving. I wasn't uh, deceived by my uh, ears so there was the enemy Titan there and I was ready to meet him. I'm playing North Star because it's the last Titan I didn't level up to Gen 10. And I am going for Gen 10 and uh, all colors uh, unlocked on each Titan. Because it's just me being myself. Uh, but now I'm playing the relatively safe peak uh, playstyle. And uh, this dude is probably going to die very fast. 
I'm going to... Yes, I did exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, that feels great. Ooh, too old to keep up is one of the well-known good players. I have got my core to the lower left on the screen ready. Uh, it will allow me to deal a massive damage. There is enemy Ronin, judging by that counter. And there is enemy... Who didn't manage to shoot all rockets at me before I destroyed them. Okay, um, in this game mode you can, uh, as always, see your team score and the enemy team score on the top of the screen. Also, all the titans deployed have um, icons below the bar. My health bar is at the top of the screen at the center. And it has a... Um... That's bad. Okay, now I'm in the same doom state in which uh, these titans are. <laughs> I was just murdered. So yeah, I'm playing Northstar and uh, I cannot blame anybody who will call me a camper, though I'm actually trying not to be one, since this game doesn't really um, reward you for being a camper. There is a unique thing for Titanfall 2. This game has such a rich movement system and so many good and effective counterplay against snipers, while two or three sniper rifles being projectile based, not his gun, that it's really not that good to stay in one place. You will be punished for that and you will be destroyed. Just like I was destroyed right now, with my full health bar almost empty, simply because uh, I was uh, stuck in the corner between the crates. But yet I managed to fight off that uh, monarch. And now I have a huge... Oh man, it was so close. That projectile was so close. I can still step accidentally on the burning thermite to and die because of uh, its area of effect damage. So yeah, um, while this game allows you to play a traditional Call of Duty style on both pilots and titans, it heavily empathizes empathize on uh, player movement. And uh, its uh, very low time to kill is um, counterbalanced by this insane mobility, which is provided on both titans and uh, pilots and most of the titan weapons which are quite powerful and make this game so unbalanced they all are almost all of them are projectile based and it's not really easy to hit the target from the far range uh, for now i'm just uh, hitting uh, opponents and um, setting them to doom state and make them a free target for my teammate Monarch, who is capable of stealing enemy batteries, healing him himself, adding a shield on top of his health bar, just to have more health pool, and uh, uh, leveling up his uh, core meter, which is so essential for Monarch. We have a Legion in front of me, fighting some enemy Titan, some enemy other Legion, um, and Tone below the bridge. Well. Tone is a very controversial titan, because uh, you see, it has uh, some really good weapons that make him hard to fight uh, against as a pilot, and which also make him very uh, low risk, high reward, if he um, manages to land some shots. I hear the enemy titan using viper thrusters. Another enemy titan somewhere nearby, probably behind this corner. Yes, he was. I'm going to throw a trap for him. And my flight core is going to absolutely annihilate them. One down. I'm going to drop down from the bridge and 
bark at him from the distance. Okay, I'm in a doom state. Right now, when my health bar has such a form, I can be easily uh, destroyed with one punch. And this guy is probably going for that. And I'm trying to counterplay that. He could easily kill me by hitting me once in the face. It was easy to do, because I was uh, really vulnerable when... Uh, uh, when hovering in the mid-air. I couldn't properly maneuver. So yeah. Um. Oh no. <laughs> he used a power shot. Which is a delayed one round heavier round. That deals massive amount of damage to both pilots and titans. So about uh, Titanfall. This game is mainly known for its... Uh, Titan mechanic, which is uh, completely utilized in this game mode in particular, but uh, uh, most of the newcomers or most of the viewers who see this game on streams, on videos, they might not realize that this game is not just Call of Duty with Titans, and Titans are uh, probably the worst thing that there is in Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is really famous among uh, dedicated fans as a game with insanely fast-paced, uh, low time to kill, high-risk, high-reward combat. This game has heavy emphasis on mobility and uh, with such levels on mobility only amplified by Source Engine traditional box features like bunny hops, air strafe, slide hops, uh, etc. This game only becomes uh, deeper, richer and harder to master, while it's relatively easy to pick on. Um, unfortunately, Titan gameplay really off offsets the balance uh, in combat, and uh, unlike Titanfall 1, in Titanfall 2 it's much harder to fight enemy Titans. But at the same time... Titans themselves are relatively well balanced with only two in my view. Titans being uh, absolute, uh, well, um, exclusion from the um, equation. One being uh, Legion, which I just destroyed with my precise shot in the head. Another one being Scorch. These two Titans in a very mobile and fast game where even Titans have a very fast traveling speed. These two titans are very heavy, slow, they are easy and big targets to hit. And also, they um, don't have a dash function. You see on the bottom of the screen, in the center, I have two blue bars slowly filling up. These buttons represent my dash meter. And when I press spacebar, I can hear the reactive thruster sound and I see the one of these bars being depleted. This is my dash pool, and uh, you see on Ogre Titans, on Ogre class Titans, namely Scorch and um, Legion, you have uh, only one bar of dash, and by default it can be performed um, twice as slower as on other Titans, with uh, you having to equip a specific perk to lower the dash cooldown. This makes these Titans really immobile and uh, uh, suitable in very specific situations. So yeah, while Titan on Titan combat is really good in team play, it might be really un unbalanced in um, uh, duels. When you have a specific uh, duel of certain Titans in a vacuum, so to say, you can have uh, really serious problems because these Titans are uh, equipped and kitted for certain situations. For example, Scorch is meant to create traps. It is uh, supposed to be unseen until uh, the moment when it's too late. And unlike other Titans, he doesn't have a good weapon. His uh, main gun is a, a Soviet caliber uh, thermite cannon that uh, shoots one round and then you have to reload it. It mainly serves the purpose of uh, spacing enemy pilots and um, uh, igniting your gas traps. But when your gas traps 
Ah, uh, on the cooldown, you are not really of a good use uh, when uh, outside of uh, point blank range because you don't have access uh, to your thermal shield. While Ronin can uh, work around these uh, problems, for example, and easily defeat uh, Scorch in. Man, this pilot totally ignored me. Now then, I can hear the enemy pilots. I'm carrying the flag as a pilot currently, and I'm waiting for my team to help me and to kill the flag carrier from the enemy team, and uh, so I could uh, place my flag on our base. Right now I'm really vulnerable, because all pilots have very little time to kill, and if I die, enemy might easily, just easily delete me. Oh yeah. Oh man. This is all star by the way. This weapon is my favorite. Um, well, if not number one, then it's definitely at least number two weapon. You see, all star really reminds me of Quake 3 or Quake Champions uh, plasma gun. It uh, basically works almost the same. And you see, as a as a pilot, I can easily avoid enemy titans maneuver really well, and they. Uh, um, they ha struggle to damage me because, uh, well, because of me being uh, so agile. As a pilot, I have uh, limited ammo anti-titan weapon that uh, allows me to deal heavy damage to enemy titans and deny them. But uh, while using this weapon, I'm really vulnerable towards enemy pilots who use such good weapons like this EVA 8 auto that this guy uses. Oh, this one actually used car, never mind. Um, you see, this is the time you need to kill in this game. I just uh, directly threw a grenade at the enemy, which is called Firestar. And is uh, it was a basis for uh, Arcstar and Titanfall, oh, in Apex Legends. This fire star deals um, area of effect thermite uh, damage, and it allows to lock the. Okay, I'm going to fight this titan in my time. It allows to lock the um, doors. I'm going to deny this titan because he can be a problem for our team to capture the flag. I'm not really interested in destroying titans, as long as they don't uh, uh, bother my teammates pilots. So this is the monarch that I'm going to destroy now, and I'm aiming specifically at his cockpit. And this fucker has just stolen my um, pilot execution, unfortunately. So yeah, the enemy team has only one uh, titan, as it is indicated on the top bar below the enemy team uh, counter. And I'm going to find the titan, use my flight core that is already charged fully. And then uh, leave my titan because I don't need it and I want to play as a pilot. This game has... Uh, well, it is built around uh, some core component that include excellent gunplay, excellent movement and... Uh, seamless transition between pilots and titans, with uh, pilots uh, being somewhat uh, equal against uh, titans. But uh, as good as these uh, uh, components work together to make a perfect uh, multiplayer shooter with fast-paced combat, all of these components stand really well alone. Uh, unlike uh, Apex Legends, where you basically have uh, uh, a good gunplay and uh, really shitty everything else, including the fact that the game is a fucking battle royale. In, uh, in Titanfall 2, you have a really advanced m movement mechanics. Really low titan time to kill, very good and unrestricted... Uh, Gunplay that allows you to fire precisely from hip fire. Uh, techniques known for 
from Quake 3 Arena, for example. And um, on top of everything, you've got Titans that allow you to... Oh, shit. That was accidental. I didn't want to uh, land inside that Monarch, uh, land on top of them. And uh, this is because... Uh, this is the reason why I uh, died. I lost control of my pilot. And this is actually the reason for you to... Oh, man! This is so unfortunate. Look at that. Look at that. And I couldn't punch him. It was me to the left on the kill cam oh, on the replay screen. So, as far as pilot gameplay goes, everything is really insane and broken. But uh, if you played uh, some. Um, certain anime fighting games like I did, you know that if everybody is overpowered, nobody is overpowered. So I am currently tr trying to just take their attention and okay, it seems flag, like nobody of them activate. is going to pursue me, so I'm going to... Okay, where are the pilots? Come on, follow me. Cover me. Okay, looks like Yeah, this guy um, has a car submachine gun, which is a really good example of a Titanfall 2 weapon. I'm really uh, um, waiting for this weapon to appear in um, Apex Legends, because uh, to be honest, it's uh, one of the best, if not the best, submachine gun. It is something in between the um, assault rifles, like R301 in Apex, and... Uh, uh, submachine guns like R97, R99, etc. This, uh... oh shit! Man, this dude with EVA 8 is insane. EVA 8 is a really good shotgun in this game, as you might have already understood. But never mind, though. Uh, what about what is bad about uh, pilot versus pilot gameplay is that this game has. Uh, this uh, power-ups that works uh, that work specifically like uh, um, Call of Duty skill streaks, as far as I know. Whenever you perform well on the battlefield, you get an opportunity to activate one of your power-ups that you have chosen from the. Oh shit! This Eva Eight pilot is pursuing me. That's unfortunate. No. Ah, and looks like we lost. Because our flag uh, is on the enemy back, and our uh, the enemy flag is returned. Though I tried uh, to carry it to the base three times and even succeeded one time. Um, you see, there is a problem with the, not not the balance on matchmaking, but uh, rather our team being uh, cowards who cannot take loss. Simply people become salty, unfortunately, and this is why we have to suffer the disbalanced teams. Oh shit, this is bad. Yeah. So yeah, um, this game has such a low time to kill. Uh, offset by this game's insane mobility, that uh, almost all weapons are useful in some way or another. You see, this game doesn't have such a large choice of uh, weapon units as, for example, say Battlefield 3 with all expansions. But each and every weapon is very unique. Well, almost every <laughs> weapon. You see, let's uh, look at, uh, for example, uh, light machine guns. You have only three of them. But three is enough. First one is a Spitfire. This weapon kicks like a mule, as Bangalore would say, but uh, it deals massive hit scan damage on long range. And it is very controllable when you aim down sights. 
it also has a large uh, pool of ammo. X-55 Devotion is a very rapid fire uh, light machine gun, but it uh, its uh, uh, firepower on um, uh, higher uh, fire rate is offset by it having a heat scan. Oh, sorry. By this weapon having projectile based uh, nature, its uh, rounds uh, travel through time. And um, this weapon also has a wind up stage. So when, it, when you start to shoot it, it shoots slowly and only then it accelerates. Um, and the last one is my favorite, my personal favorite. But uh, don't let it stop you or something else. Is L Star. L Star is basically um, Quake 3 Arena's plasma gun with a little, with a small, very small and inconsiderable uh, um, re uh, recoil pattern and a spread. You see what makes this game very specifically uh, close to Quake 3 Arena's uh, weapon is not that it shoots projectiles, but the fact that it can easily land uh, precise shots into the enemy straightly, uh, straight way you send them uh, with hip fire. You don't need to aim this weapon down sides to deal massive amount of damage from long distances. Also, you can easily run and shoot with this weapon without being afraid. This weapon basically doesn't have recoil. It's a fully energy-based weapon. And the last feature which makes this weapon really unique is that it works on uh, overheat mechanics. This weapon can overheat, and if it overheats, you not only have to wait a large period of time to cool this weapon down, but while it is happening, you have to switch your burnt-out uh, radiator. When you fire in short controllable bursts, not more than, for example, 20 rounds in a burst, you can easily kill a couple of pilots in this burst if they are uh, uh, not spread too wide and you land your shots well. But also, you can simply untap your fire button and this weapon will cool down and you won't have to reload it. You don't have an um, s ammunition and uh, magazines for this weapon, so to say. When you install uh, mm, an extended mag upgrade for this weapon, it only slows down the... Um, the heat build up. So yeah, these are um, examples of three like machine guns that are very unique and differ from each other. Now this is a very traditional and um, very um, competitive um, game mode. This is traditional capture the flag which works the same way as in other games but in this game of course it has a twist of having titans on the battlefield that can really change how the things are going. But uh, since the titans are such a power to be uh, concerned about, um, if you just deny them, you can straight up dominate the enemy base and don't let anybody do anything. Right now I'm waiting for my uh, teammate to... Um, deliver the flag to to our base while trying to return our flag. Okay, it's returned, so I'm going to escort our friend, just in case. I'm in in a gravity star. It was a um, gravitational charge that uh, pulled me inside, and I tried to escape it successfully. Um, with my grappling hook, which is an, one of the ultimate movement abilities in this game. Friendly pilot has the flag. Uh, and it seems... oh no, I was slightly scared that I had one of uh, um, familiar players 
in this game. You see, now I shot this weapon uh, long enough to make it overheated. Unfortunately, while I overheated this weapon, I didn't uh, manage to land uh, the shot with my wingman, which is the worst pistol in the game. Standard wingman. But yet, um, what I do like about this game is that you don't need to wait another ton of time to respawn, like in a battle royale, to wait god knows how many seconds to drop on the ground and then try to find the weapons. Everything is consistent in this game. Many weapons have a fixed spray pattern. Okay. And I happen to be alive. Well, this guy has a very powerful uh, submachine gun. And I just flex <laughs> by doing a 360 capture the flag. <laughs> Almost 360. 270. But I don't care. I'm just having some fun here. Um, so this game has a um, very uh, basic uh, meter gauge that fills when you perform kills on enemy pilots, when you complete objectives, when you destroy the enemy uh, NPC soldiers that are uh, present on many of this map's game modes. Uh, and um, when you fill it partially, when you get a certain amount of this uh, meter gauge, you are capable of uh, summoning your um, booster, which is activated uh, on a specific button. My current booster is an um, anti-pilot turret, which is a basic sentry gun, which can uh, outzone enemies and can also be punched and destroyed with one punch. I'm currently trying to perform some uh, slight hops and air strafes. I'm... yeah, I wasn't... Unfortunately, I wasn't um, careful enough to avoid these pilots. I could uh, easily kill at least this one. But you know what? I'm going to play defensive. Just for fun. Since I... Showed you some... Mobility options of this game. Pilot has the flag. That include uh, wall running, sliding, and uh, uh, using some uh, specific uh, abilities like grappling hook, which can be. Oh, you see, you see, this was my uh, hip fire L star, which I used to absolutely annihilate the enemy teammates. Right now I'm using a combination of uh, air strafes and slide hops to gain or preserve speed. I'm using, using specific uh, mouse uh, movements, um, uh, mouse motions, I'm sorry, and uh, um, air strafe to get some speed. Okay. Right now my sentry successfully defended me from the enemy pilot, who had a very powerful weapon. And I delivered a victory um, flag, so I'm going to get inside my titan and try to prevent the enemy pilots from escaping. And escaping is another very specific uh, mechanic for this game, which allows the losing team uh, to offset their uh, loss by escaping from the battlefield alive. Of course, if they except if they escape alive, not like this pilot, they will be uh, claiming uh, the um, same victory um, uh, rewards as we did. But uh, we are going to prevent them from getting inside this ship and um, leave the battlefield alive. There are currently four enemy players alive. And we're slowly destroying the enemy ship. 
if they don't uh, get inside the ship, the ship will fly away f uh, after some period of time. But uh, during this time, it's really easy to destroy the ship with focused Titan fire and even pilot fire. This game has some problematic mechanics, like uh, the very fact of Titans being on the uh, uh, very same map with pilots, and uh, pilots being basically one shot in many cases for enemy Titans. But also, you have uh, such problematic weapons like Smart Pistol. And um, this is a whole another topic to dig. Smart Pistol in Titanfall 1 was a um, primary weapon. This was a pistol that you placed in your primary slot and it had infinite ammo, like all primary weapons do in this game. Uh, not only it had a uh, infinite ammo, but it also didn't warn the enemy pilots when you aim at them, when you lock on them. You see, Smart Pistol is a weapon from another game. It's a, basically a weapon from Overwatch. You don't have to aim with this weapon. To kill the enemy pilot with one press of a button with this weapon, you need to hold crosshair roughly around the enemy pilot. And when three, um, when three um, markers align on the target, you can one-shot them by... Uh, Pressing one button. In Titanfall 2, Smart Pistol is not is no longer a primary weapon, but it is a power up that has a limited amount of ammo. It also warns the pilots when they are being aimed at. You can see how I easily almost killed that pilot while barely hitting him with my huge projectiles. You can also notice that I am using the uh, special techniques with my grappling hook. And the uh, grappling hook alone is another topic uh, to talk about because uh, unlike Quake Champions, Unlike uh, many um, um, casually oriented uh, shooting games, and unlike Overwatch, where this is a very limited option, Grappling Hook Titanfall 2 allows you basically to swing around buildings like Spider Man would do. And uh, while you're doing that, you can use the very same techniques that you use in Quake to accelerate. You don't even need to press the forward button like I uh, don't do right now. Because when you um, minimize the time of contact with ground, you easily uh, preserve your speed and only gain it with air strafe in these short uh, windows between uh, jumps. So, I'm going to try my sniper rifle just to check if I will be able to camp in this game. I hope the enemy team will be able to counter my uh, camping uh, uh, playstyle. And I'm going to aim for the enemy pilots. The wall running mechanics, uh, which are combined with double jumps, allow players to get insane heights and speeds without really managing any resources, like I did now. I don't have a grappling hook. I have um, a cloak, which I activated right now. And yet I easily got on this rooftop. What makes this uh, sniper rifle unique from other ones is that it's a uh, heat scan. It can only kill enemy pilots 
in uh, two hits in the body, but yet it deals critical double damage into the enemy head. So if you headshot the enemy consistently, you can become truly a competitive god with this weapon. But uh, unfortunately, it's really hard. Or maybe not unfortunately even, because this uh, game is not really about camping. And if it was, it would probably have been uh, much less enjoyable than it is now. Right now, I, uh, while playing on uh, a bounty hunt game mode that uh, requires you to uh, collect money by killing enemy uh, NPC grunts, I just uh, dropped all my earned money uh, into the bank between the uh, waves of the enemies. And um, by doing this, I um, made my team closer to victory. I saw the enemy pilot. Yeah, I can see him. And I managed to shot this uh, same Titan as mine. North Star from long distance. Right now I need to deny as many enemy titans as possible to make their pilots vulnerable. Because in this mode, if you kill the enemy pilot, you get half of his money. And uh, if the enemy uh, is inside their titan, they cannot be really uh, um, killed unless uh, you execute them or deal damage uh, to them while well, they're uh, doomed enough damage to destroy them Okay, I'm just going to waste my ultimate on this titan and eject. When I'm ejected, the I activate uh, the uh, stealth kit that allows me to become fully invisible to enemy titans. Sector B is clear of remnant fleet force. And uh, I'm very barely visible to enemy pilots. But pilots, unlike uh, Titans, see me uh, really uh, well. Is clear of fleet okay, the enemy pilot is, is in cloak. I could easily see him, as you can find out. He was using the same thing that I was using right now. And I'm being shot by the enemy pilot with the same sniper rifle as I have. I'm just going to preserve my battery for my next Titan. And I'm going to use my anti-titan weapon to gain my titan bar. Okay, my titan is on 90, 98%. I've just got uh, a lot of money. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get this money to the bank because I... Uh, got this money from the enemy pilot uh, just at the end of the time between the waves. Now I use my battery that was uh, behind my back to um, add the shields to my titan. It is done automatically each time you have a battery. And um, on this wave specifically I uh, have a main target of uh, pilot oh of a titan npc titan that we have to destroy these titans are not really bright but yet uh, they um, can be a real threat for pilots who just uh, don't keep their distance and uh, don't stay mobile this is the enemy pilot that i need to destroy much more than I need to destroy the enemy titan, because I am not uh, interested in uh, destroying the titans and getting money. I'm interested in destroying the enemy pilots. Right now I have a shitload of money. 
that I'm going to... Okay, okay. I just uh, delivered all of my 600 money and got the first place uh, by score. I also have a decent amount of kills with my uh, DMR sniper rifle and uh, my Titan also. Of course, uh, far from the second place, this dude who is called Mythbusters. Oh, yes, exactly him. Yeah, but um, on the enemy team, uh, I uh, unfortunately don't really have a good challenge right now. But that doesn't matter. Because, uh, well... Because in this game you can have fun and you can still... And you can still enjoy while losing, because this game provides for comeback mechanics like uh, escape. This is the enemy North Star, the same Titan as me. And I'm of course going to talk to him in private, so to say. Because he's right here. Oh, I couldn't do it. Well, this, what I did right now, is called goosing. To goose a pilot means to uh, kill the pilot while he's ejecting from his Titan. This is a common practice in this game. And, uh, of course, this is optional in this game to eject. You can do this if you want to... Uh, okay, he ejected. He decided to eject because uh, if he wouldn't... Okay, I goosed him again. <laughs> if he wouldn't, I would have destroyed him inside this Titan. So yeah. I destroyed his titan, I made it uh, into its doom state and then I forced him to eject it. I got uh, a score for destroying the enemy pilot, uh, the enemy titan and now I just goosed another pilot for a huge load of money. And I have a heavy risk of dying right now because I can see the enemy pilot using charge rifle on me. Okay, now I lost half of my money. Good day to you, Vegetarius. How is you living, my friend? I'm currently using a sniper rifle, the only hit scan sniper rifle in the game, uh, which is uh, intended for use for use against the enemy pilots and infantry. So I'm just chilling here while trying to get score and level up this gun. I of course do have all the upgrades which uh, this gun can possess. But I'm using um, a scope that allows me to use only one upgrade. Right now I'm waiting for the wave to deplete because now when it's depleted I can... Oh no! I can... Okay. I just uh, dropped all of my money, all of my money to the bank and this triggered the enemy evacuation sequence during which the enemy pilots have to get to the ship that is going to get to this mark and we have to prevent them if we don't want them to get a single um, victory bonus from us. So this weapon that I'm currently holding is, is an anti-titan weapon, but it's uh, sometimes used as a uh, secondary sniper rifle. Because uh, when it's used uh, in standard conditions, you can uh, one-shot enemy pilots with it. I'm not saying that it's really uh, that comfortable to use this gun. 
Uh, but charge rifle allows you to correct your mistake with a hit scan if you missed your first craver shot or something like that. So yeah. This was a great round in the bounty hunt, hunt mode. By the way, those very same people who said always that this game is dead, they all, like one, always claim that uh, this game is played only in one game mode, which is called Attrition. This is the base game mode of eight currently available. And this, at Unfortunately, Glitch is unavailable because it was a timed event, as far as I know. Well, actually, we have a Frontier Defense, but this co-op game mode is uh, uh, excluded from standard matchmaking mixtape. So I just enable every game mode that's, uh, that is available in the game, and it starts to matchmake me. By the way, let me check how many players do we have online now. Ooh, that's great. So yeah. What I wanted to say is that in this game you have eight main pilot versus pilot game modes and all of these modes, without any single exceptions, are populated. You can find game in pretty much any mode to this day, though the game was relieved, uh, released three years and a half ag ago. This game's matchmaker allows you to search by uh, selected uh, game modes exclude some of them if you really don't like them or just uh, uh, wait for any random game mode to connect you with nearest opponents and this is uh, a huge value for this game because in titanfall 1 you only had the option to first choose the mode and then start the matchmaker in this mode right now uh, i seem to have uh, um, got to a wave of bounty hound um, bounty hunt modes on different maps and right now we are going to titanfall 1 map which is a training stage from titanfall 1 well it's not a training stage but it's uh, basically a simulation so since i have played with dmr previous round i think i'll go for something more uh unorthodox like uh, mastiff Mastiff shotgun is a unique projectile based shotgun which uh, sends horizontal waves of plasma towards the enemy. It is really easy to hit the targets on very long ranges with these shotguns and deal consistent damage like I just did now and almost kill that dude. Okay, he escaped. I can see him. Oh no. I got outgunned by two, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not interested in, in winning this match, I just want to kill the enemy pilots. In this game, your double jump doesn't have a cooldown and it is automatically reset each time you hit the ground or wall. Ooh, this guy! <laughs> this guy has a nice, nice nickname, I like it. <laughs> So, G2 Scout is a um, weapon uh, that is also in a certain form present in uh, both Apex Legends and Titanfall 1. In, uh, it is a um, rapid fire, heavy damage, uh, semi-auto um, rifle, which allows for very precise long-range shots with a capability of two shotting enemies so about massive that i'm currently wielding this weapon is really inconsistent but if you oh no no no, no. if you land a shot with it you have a good chance of uh, killing enemy in one hit if you um are doing this from a certain range if you shooting at the enemy uh, even from longer ranges, there is a risk. There is, I mean, even a chance, not a risk, of one. Oh, like this guy just did. I had a full health. Let's watch. Yeah, he's got massive too. Yes, he just uh, aligned his uh, head, 
uh, his uh, his um, crossfire uh, on the level of our hands, and he made two good shots to kill both of us, just like I did right now. This game is really a little random. It has a predefined spray pattern. I mean, uh, this plasma wave consists of uh, a certain amount of uh, projectiles. <laughs> and these projectiles always um, move at the fixed direction. Uh, so you have... Um, Almost uh, always you have uh, one shot with this weapon if you aim at the uh, level of the enemy's head or you hit at least three pieces of plasma at the enemy. Okay, you know what? Massive is a really unique and interesting weapon in this game. But uh, let me just go for something more hardcore. Uh, if you play Titanfall 1 or Apex, then you know what Kraber is. Kraber is an anti-material rifle, which in this game is used to one-shot enemy pilots. If this weapon uh, penetrates your small toes nail, it will explode you in bloody pulp. This gun guarantees headshot in uh, guarantees one shot in any body part. But the price of it is another topic to discuss. I'm going to uh, get inside my North Star and um, try to kill some pilots. Oh no! At last. Was so bad with this execution. Okay, it was too late for me. So yeah, back to Kraber. Kraber has a very long barrel. Kraber has a 50 caliber barrel, which is basically uh, in Russian it's 12.7, uh, the same caliber that. Uh, Dushka machine gun uses and uh, this caliber is uh, really not suited for um, battle against uh, infantry. In this game, however, this weapon is a sniper rifle and this sniper rifle has a projectile. It shoots bullets that travel through time and that have a ballistic trajectory. Right now I'm shooting with the top um, rate of fire. This weapon is really slow. And now it will be really... Well, this is what you like Kraber for. Kraber is a really complex gun, hard to master, but when you land shots with it, it uh, gives you such an insane satisfaction that there is no, there is literally no other weapon in this game that can uh, contest uh, Kraber at the uh, on this uh, very specific point. This weapon is really unoptimized and uh, not effective. It's really not that consistent because. It has a projectiles with ballistic trajectory. It's really hard to, to land shots with this gun. But uh, if you land them, you do a one shot, one kill. One kill. What do? What else do you need from this game? Which compensates its uh, very low time to kill with uh, insane mobility. And when you are a sniper who uses his sniper rifle while running on walls and flying through large... Oh, okay, it was a hologram. Okay, Titan down. Another Titan down. 
Unfortunately, this one I missed. Okay. I'm going to get this high ground to destroy the Titan or move him into the Doom State. I'm waiting for him to appear from behind the car. Oh, here it is. Oh, he disappeared. Okay, my Titan is ready. I'm going to get inside it and try to deny the enemy Titans with mine. So, um, the plasma railgun that I'm using currently is the uh, closest thing that you can get to a uh, Kraber, but on the Titan scale. I'm not really a fan of North Star as a Titan. But uh, since I have time and opportunity to level up each of my uh, titans and guns to maximum level, I mean not to maximum level, to to the maximum reasonable level, Gen 10 to be specific, I am going to do that because I think this game is really worth the time and investment. It rewards methodic gameplay and uh, studying the maps. Studying the weapons. If you train in this game, you can get better, just like in a fighting game. I mean, this... In, by training I don't uh, only mean uh, such basic things as uh, striking, aiming, uh, aiming in advance to uh, hit enemies with projectile-based weapons. But uh, um, map knowledge is uh, important not only as uh, in terms of geometry, so players have to know uh, how the maps are uh, laid out, but you also need this knowledge because you are moving on very high speeds and to know where you can run on the wall, where you cannot, where you can expect the enemy to appear. You should really know the maps well. As long as you know a map well, no matter how bad its terrain is, you can easily slide hop, air straight, dodge the enemy shots. And execute enemy pilots, just like I did. Right now I'm uh, executing the air strafe technique that allows me to gain insane speeds while ejecting. And use the speeds on... Uh, um. oh, okay, the enemies... This one... Look at this. This is smart pistol. Smart pistol? Well, I talked to you a lot about this weapon. You don't need to aim with it. You just need to wait for enemy to die. Unfortunately, some players still use this weapon. And uh, it is uh, considered to be a bad manner by most of the player base. Nobody res respects um, uh, smart pistol kills, no matter how good it is. But everybody will uh, respect uh, even uh, the shittiest uh, Camper kill because uh, snipers really challenge themselves with good aim by uh, choosing sniper rifles because of this game's uh, pilot mobility. It's really hard to hit the enemy with even a hit scan sniper rifle. But it's really easy to hit the enemies who um, willingly. Uh, make themselves less mobile, just like that pilot who was using the hovering perk that allows him to hover in midair while aiming. And um, while hovering he is completely immobile and he can be easily killed with a sniper rifle.
Okay, I've got one shot inside my craver. Where is he? Okay, I will reload. Looks like he... He left me. I don't know where he is. Oh, is it... Is that yours? I don't know, honestly. What I do know is that you are no match for my speed. Gotta go fast. <laughs> he still thinks I'm there. And maybe now he thinks that I was uh, on the rooftop of that uh, cylinder all the time. I'm going to spice things up with my uh, turret to prevent the enemies from getting to the... Okay, good. My Titan is going to drop since I called it. And now they really don't have chances of evacuating. They've got only one player surviving. And now they've got uh, no place to eject from. And this is the last guy. <laughs> I just killed him. Okay, I think let's have a last match for today before we wrap these things up and punish, uh, publish this on YouTube. What I wanted to say is that uh, Titanfall 2 is really an unforgiving experience and in this game when you purchase it and when you get here for the first time you should be prepared for your ass to be handed to you. Deep fried. Nobody will get easy on you. Some players will use such weapons as a smart pistol. Some players will be using titans like Tone, which are really hard on pilots and uh, hard to counter by beginners. Uh, you see, in this game you have counterplay even for smart pistol because you have a cloak that makes you invisible. But uh, play it's really much easier easier for players to start whining about this game being unbalanced yes sure the game plan uh, the gameplay the game is designed this way to make titans far more powerful than anything on the battlefield this is a power fantasy but uh they tried they are hardest to make these titans uh relatively balanced while being very unique to each other. All of these titans, they can fit certain roles, but they are so unique that uh, you will be like in absolutely whole new world if you uh, get onto a new titan after playing on a previous one for some time. Okay, right now I'm going to take the meta submachine gun. I'm going to take uh, my favorite titan. And I'm going to ruin somebody's day, I hope. I'm not going to go easy on new pilots who I can see today in this match. But uh, again, I'm not uh, the best player in this game myself, and uh, everybody has car submachine gun available from the start. And uh, I can be easily countered by even the newest pilot, the least experienced, if they land their shorts, probably. Okay, first blood for me. This is the friendly. My crosshair turns orange each time I shoot the head and get additional damage. Okay, I've got my sentry turret. And thanks to that, I currently have my titan ready. I'm earning some money with my... Um, Sentry and with my gun by shooting enemy infantry, which is hunted also by the enemy pilots to uh, earn money and uh, give it inside this bank. Right now, I probably am going to be the most um, uh, useful 
most valid player in this current match. But uh, I really don't uh, take this in account because uh, I'm using the very simple submachine gun and uh, I'm using a sentry turret that uh, can in certain conditions do half of the work for me. Okay, we seem to have enemy... Oh shit, he didn't let me execute this guy. Okay, never mind. Whoa, 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 easy there. Easy. And please tell me, Vigatorius, uh, what do you mean by saying who is on duty? I mean, of course, it's me. I'm just playing in English to um, drop this video on YouTube and make it uh, available for some new players, potentially. Okay, I see the friendly... Oh, man. I just an absolutely incinerated that uh, enemy pilot with my thermite cannon. Of my weapons, most are uh, somehow related to fire. The only one that is not related to fire is a uh, universal mechanic, uh, which is uh, smoke cloud, electric smoke. So... As I said, Scorch is a very unique titan, based uh, on trapping the enemies. Right now I uh, dealt like... 85 or 90 percent of damage dealt to that titan with simply holding a shield in front of the enemy i heard the enemy charging their rifle on that rooftop probably so i tried to check this out okay my titan doesn't seem to be really healthy now but i'm going to leave it only when i uh, when I um, use my ultimate, my core ability. My Scorch is really heavily damaged. I am currently one shot if the enemy... Yeah, if the enemy shoots me the, with Archer, anti-Titan weapon, I'm dead. Yeah, my weapons uh, include but not, are not limited to this gas traps, which look like Nox gas traps in Titanfall, oh, in Apex Legends. Um, this fire shield, which allows me to burn the enemies while being protected from their projectiles. And this firewall, which is a great zoning tool. Friendly... Uh, pilot ejected from their titan and I'm going to just check if there is enemy titan nearby because uh, if there was a pilot destroyed by enemy titan there might be another titan nearby and I'm not mistaken I just uh, I just uh, placed this huge pool of lava be below this dude's legs and this is why he has so my uh, so little health. Whoa, 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 easy there. You see, this is quality movement. I realized my ability to use a grappling hook to get directly inside the window and uh, save myself from enemy gunfire. Since I didn't have my money on me, I didn't lose anything, and I don't regret anything about this death. What I like about this game is that uh, most of the times you don't really uh, need to worry about yourself being alive. These two titans could easily destroy me, but I use my mobility tools to avoid them. And I've survived 
for a relative long amount of time. Right now I'm going to rodeo the enemy titan and get better inside him from... Okay, by uh, ejecting the enemy... Well, this is how you destroy the enemy titan. Okay, this guy is just going to die. I didn't do a single shot. Come on. This guy is on... Oh, okay. He decided not to give me a battery that he was uh, offering me earlier. Probably because he noticed that he has a full Titan bar. I'm going to use my core. Okay, I triggered his uh, nuclear uh, ejection. <laughs> Shouldn't have stayed inside this building. Same goes for you, pal. This game really doesn't show mercy for pilots when you're inside the Titan. by Titan Gun Bang. I like this map very much because of these sand, wet sand textures. This I love so much. This sun shine, these reflections. These gas traps that I have I can ignite them by simply holding up the shield and they deal excessive amount of damage and they cover a huge uh, space allowing me to make a shot and forget Flame core is ready so I can uh, now easily deny one Oh, well, you are. oh no. You know, One enemy titan, for example, or two, if they are close to each other. These specters are not really bright, as you can see by them stepping straight inside my goddamn fire pool. Actually, I could uh, just uh, step on this... Uh... Pal, do you really want to do this? Here you are, come on, come on. Don't be shy. There you go! Okay, I'm just going to walk on them. Because I fucking can. You see, this game is a power fantasy. When you're inside your Titan, you are slow, tough and absolutely deadly. When you're a pilot, you surely are thin, but you are faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. And you are also very deadly. Hey, you stop that. Stop scratching my Titan's uh, pain. Oh, okay. Seems like I've got my first place and I've got top kills. Haha, <laughs> no chances. I simply kill them all. Okay, this uh, blue bar on the center of the screen is uh, recently added uh, mm, shields from battery that a uh, friendly pilot just uh, uh, placed on my titan. <laughs> this is a merciless execution. Poor pilot, I just denied the last one. Well... Okay, this was a great experience. I hope uh, those who watch this learn something about this game. About its modes, about its online on PC. 
about this game basically uh, being a hidden gem with really great movement mechanics, with great character progression, with uh, some really nice features and very unique mechanics that uh, make it so recognizable. And I'm not even talking ab about titans that drop from the sky. <sighs> Unfortunately, not enough people on this planet currently appreciate this game. And uh, most of those who tell that this game is dead simply stopped enjoying it for whatever reason. Highly likely because there was another game on the way more popular than this one. Um, sure, this game is hella unbalanced. It has some issues, it has some bugs, uh, but overall it's a great experience that allows you for some great plays alone or in a team with your friends. Unfortunately, uh, while being on Steam it is also an uh, Origin based game, it still requires you to install Origin on your PC to launch the game. But yet you can easily use uh, Steam to refund this game, to publish screenshots, to publish videos, to enter discussions. To watch the other people play the game. Oh, that was a great one. This guy has a car SMG that allows him to play really aggressively. I'm going to just take this very gimmick weapon that is also very fun to play. This is a granite launcher anti-pilot granite launcher. It is really easy to use, it has a huge magazine and it can guarantee you one shots if you direct hit in the enemy. Yes! No! Come on, will you die please? Oh, this was fun. I didn't kill anybody, unfortunately, but yet I made some good moves. And this guy is unfortunately one of those who plays this game like Call of Duty. As soon as he understands that this is uh, not really uh, the way the game is intended to be played, he will... Well, to my surprise, there was a friendly prayer who was saying completely the same thing that I was uh, just uh, saying in my uh, uh, microphone. No, you won't hit me with your Kraber. No, you don't. Oh, he tried so hard. I can respect that. I can respect that. I'm really glad, I mean, I'm really glad to welcome new players in this game and uh, to have some great moments with new player base, using old weapons, watching myself being killed by players who place lucky grenades. So enjoyable. I just can't. By the way, this game mode is uh, 
same as uh, basic Counter Strike game modes, uh, with exception uh, of uh, having the flag instead. Of oh my goodness! You see that that guy dropped a fire star on the flag, and um, while this fire star was burning, it was dealing a massive damage in a small area of effect. So yeah, this guy basically uh, went into, into that area of effect and uh, killed himself. Oh no. Oh no. I died from the same grenade from the same person on the same place. But it's okay, we can enjoy watching some more skilled player than I am. To be honest, I'm really not a fan of his scan weapons in this game, but uh... <laughs> no, why don't you shoot at the Marvin? Did he really deserve that? Oh, this is close. Oh no, oh no, there are three pilots here. Oh man. R97 is a beast of a gun. Man, the weather, it's killing me. You know what? Oh, it's acid monkey. Never mind. This is one of a uh, few players that I hold uh, a lot of respect towards. Acid monkey is a really skillful player who shows. Uh, well, it's very enjoyable to watch him. Even through the kill cam when he killed you. This guy, unfortunately, prefers to play Call of Duty. <sighs> unfortunately, uh, moments like this one um, may make some people think that this game is uh, broken, unbalanced, etc. But really, if you invest enough time, you be, you start to expect certain things from certain pilots, and you won't ever stay in one place for longer than half a second. Oh no 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 no! <sighs> that was hard. Behind you, pal. All right, we lost. Next Man, time we won't. I just can't stop playing this game. It is so intense. It forces you to stay on the toes for every second of the match. And uh, you know, I wanted to um, bring a thought here. I wanted to say that uh, this is the game that you can invest time in training. What I meant by that is not that you can train your aim, train your traditional the universal uh, skills that intersect between all shooters, but in this game you can travel your mechanics, uh, your quake mechanics, uh, fundamentals of movement uh, like this uh, uh, well-known bunny hop strafe jumps etc and um, you can master them while mastering map movement you can 
very effectively uh, learn the maps, learn your movement, your, learn your timings, learn your patterns by simply playing the game and enjoying it. I'm going to take my flatline just because I have a mood for that. Flatline is a Kalashnikov bullpup that I'm going to purchase uh, um, special skill probably for. Uh, Flatline's uh, index is VK47. That was unfortunate. I missed a couple of buttons on my mouse. He really didn't need to use that um, ADS on his uh, R97. I hear the enemy sentry turret, so I'm going to... Oh, actually, since we have a Titan here... No, you can't hit me! You can't hit me, I said! Oh, fucker! These limbs are really long. Okay, that's bad. You won't do it, guy. Okay, I'm just going to play defensive, I think. Since we have uh, all capability, I'm just going to put my Scourge down here and pilot it while my sentry protects the flag. Now they definitely won't like to get here. A single spark will ignite this shit and kill everybody inside. He just ejected a battery from my Titan to deal massive damage to me. But yet I took that battery and... Uh, Place it back. Come on, come on, come on, I see you! I would be the one to stand inside this uh, gas trap when it's ready to be ignited. going to get inside? Oh yeah? You're so dangerous, yeah? Okay, I almost destroyed him. <laughs> you know what? Since we're losing, I think I'm going to get this one just for sake of fun yeah um about craver i think this gun is uh, um respected as the main skill dependent gun in the game Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> you won't do it. <sighs> I captured one flag. <laughs> Great one.
look at him. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the guy who used uh, R97 with ADS. Well, well. Oh, he double jumped. Ouch! This weapon, by the way, EPG, is a very specific weapon. Um, this, I would call the only competitive Grenadier weapon. Because it's basically a Quake 3 rocket launcher. It deals 100 damage on direct hit. And it deals splash damage. Heavy splash damage. Okay, I just killed the enemy Titan without a uh, uh, single shot on him. Okay, I'm not going to make it to the base uh, in these three seconds, unfortunately. I'm first place on the team simply because I was uh, the one to capture the flag. Um, I'm going to take this uh, weapon to show it to you, probably. Uh, here it is. Let me just pick up the Marvin. Yeah, here we go. So what this weapon does, it is shooting a simple uh, forward moving projectile. Unfortunately, he um, got me busy for enough time for the enemy pilot to sneak in behind us and... Uh, so, are you going to realize that? You fucking R97. Well, at least this one is not using it uh, with ADS. So, yeah, about R97. It is about as close as Titanfall 2 can get to lightning gun from Quake. Ooh, this guy's got some... What was he doing? Okay. Man, this is bad. There are so many people spursing us. I'm going to travel to the enemy base safely on my Titan and then uh, uh, bring the flag. Oh no, not this one. So what are you gonna do? I hope you like it.
Oh no! Please! Oh, that was a great flag capture. I mean, it was not the best, but uh, you know, each time then when you are in such a pursuit, this is such a rush. This is so much adrenaline. Oh shit, this guy just ruined everything. I won't be able to take another flock, probably. If they are not going to uh, take care of that North Star who defends the base. Look at this. This is such a bullshit. Well, okay. At least they have a teamwork going on on their team. Hunter Blaze, I fucking hate him. He didn't give me a single time. Well, and we've got the uh, fifth capture from the enemy team. It wasn't even a timeout. I'm going to show you some help. Come here, ladies. Let me hug you with my warm palms. Oh yeah? You can shoot at me, what else can you do? What else can you do? Evacuate? Oh yeah. Right, so... Enemies? Any enemies? At least I killed one before I evacuated. This is how evacuation works in this game, yeah. We are unfortunately the losing team and we just left the planet. Here I am with my teammates inside this ship. Almost everybody survived. Unfortunately it was a, a loss, but uh, it's not the worst way to end the stream. And this video also, so I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something today. Go play some Titanfall 2 on PC.